Capital punishment is legal. However, it's been years since a state-sanctioned execution, and since then, the death penalty has been further curtailed. Former Governor John Kitzhaber imposed a moratorium in 2011. He was a corrupt governor who had to resign, and that is how we ended up with the Queen Kate Brown. But thank God she's gone, but she's going to do as much damage here as possible in Oregon before she leaves office which was continued in 2015 by Governor Kate Brown. Then, a law passed in 2019 reduced the circumstances in which a death sentence can be imposed. This is the path that Oregon has been on for the last several years. Now, as she prepares to leave office, Governor Brown will grant the 17 death row inmates clemency. I wonder how the juries feel that actually put in the death sentence because a judge can't do it. It has to be done by a jury. And then how all of the families feel about this. Uh, Kate Brown, you're for killing babies, but you're not for killing uh, just disgusting criminals that murder people and butcher them. Okay, oh, Kate Brown, yay! commuting their sentences to life in prison without the possibility of parole. KGW's Pat Doris spoke with her this week. I believe that there are many Oregonians that share my values, that it is um, inequitable, immoral, and doesn't make sense for the state to take a life, particularly when it is irreversible. Many, like the Oregon Justice Resource Center, applaud the governor's actions, calling the death penalty a failed policy. The nonprofit's executive director writing, Governor Brown made the right choice for Oregon in commuting these death sentences. The facts point toward one conclusion. It's past time for Oregon to end the use of capital punishment. Well, according to the stats, uh, more Oregonians are for capital punishment, so uh, I hate this damn bias news. I just hate the way they cover crap. Anyway, peace. Others are against the move. Essentially, what the state of Oregon is doing is betraying the moral contract it has with all of its citizens. Joshua Marquis was the district attorney for Clatsop County for 25 years until 2018. This guy's a liberal, but he's actually good. He's on uh, the conservative talk show here in Portland uh, quite frequently, and he, he makes a lot of sense, even though he, he's probably a conservative, but he won't change parties. He believes any actions such as this should be up to voters to decide. Portland-based DHM Research surveyed Oregonians over the years, finding many are in support of the death penalty. Their most recent poll from January 2021 showed 28% surveyed strongly support and 33% somewhat support the death penalty for people convicted of murder. I have been prosecuting murder cases for over 30 years. I have only sought the death penalty in one. And that's generally the way it works. It, it is a rare penalty that is and should be rarely used only in the most vicious um, and heinous crimes. Governor Brown's commutation means that none of Oregon's current death row inmates could be executed, even if a future governor ended the death penalty moratorium. Did you catch that? Hmm. Very interesting, huh? How does the governor have that power? Governor-elect Tina Kotek has stated that she will keep it in place. We have a full list of those 17 prisoners on KGW.com.